Stop. Just like he went right straight up in the air. He ain't got no wings yet. He pulled an old Indian trick. All we gotta do is squat around in a circle. You go that way and I'll go this way. We'll cross his path. Where's Mark Allen? Where'd he expect to find a school marm? He's over at the hotel with the rest of the women. I must ask you a very personal question. You must answer it frankly if you want to avoid a massacre here. Was Marshall McGuire ever jealous of you and Mark? Yes, he was. He thought we were engaged. He was very bitter when I showed my preference for Mark. That's all I want to know. All right, men, check your gun, see if they're loaded, make every shot count. All right, masked man, it's time you told me who you are. I'm here to tell you what you are. The scrapes of that badge and the people you represent. A lawman who robbed a tenderfoot of the money he held in trust. Just so you could ruin his future with the Indian service and his marriage to the girl you wanted. You take that back or I'll kill you. I take nothing back, that's the truth. Go ahead if you think you can outdraw me. Oh no, I'm not matching shots with any outlaw gunslinger. Now let's see who you are. Follow your orders, Kimatabi. Watch from top of hill. Cheyenne war party coming. Them have many guns. You heard that, McGuire? Now, what are you going to do about it? You going to pay off Iron Hand and save your town? Now, where's the money you stole from Mark Allen? <laughs> Speak up. I put in his own saddlebags. My saddlebag? Why'd you do it, Ed? I couldn't stand a tender for beating my time. A school teacher. I thought you were a man. I was wrong, kitten. All wrong. Thank you. Thank you so much. You did help us after all. You couldn't have done it if he hadn't come back to face up to his own problems. Mark, 
Where is he? I told you he was a coward. He was too yellow to stay away for that engine war party. Me see him leave, Kimasabe. Him right toward pass where Cheyenne are. Well, then he's not running away. He's going out to meet them and give them the money. Him try to save town. He's riding to his death. No, he's riding to his manhood. But the money alone won't satisfy Iron Hand now. He intends to wipe out a bigger debt. A debt of honor. An insult to himself and his tribe. That's your responsibility. And I'm going to see that you apologize to Iron Hand before it's too late. No, they'll kill me. You've got no choice, McGuire. Tato, get his horse. Howdy, gents. By George, that bell ain't stopped ringing for two hours. Sven Olsen got plenty big job. Plenty of work here for a white man. Well, good. That yours fine. You got big wash. Yump and Jiminy. This shirt she sure dirty. Feels like tar. <sighs> Smells like tar, too. That's what it is. We got it all over us. Yeah, tar and a roof. Sven can't promise to get it out, but he'll just run over to store and get some naphtha. Good idea. That ought to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. A snee, she yosh like cat. When she's in, she's out, and when she's out, she's in. <laughs> well, Sven here all alone. You fellas watch store. He'll be right back. Go ahead, sweet. Somebody's in there. Well, he said he was alone here. Please hold that engine. Fairly nice. Thank you, Mr. Flyley. Ain't that the engine was with the masked man that broke up our tar party? That's him, all right. Where's your partner? Me not know. Don't lie to me. We got a score to settle with him. Tell us or we'll knock it out of you. Come on, Lippo. Your last chance, engine. Where is he? They couldn't get Naphtha, so I bought Sheriff instead. Thanks. What is this? They're under arrest, all of you. What for? Abduction. Assault with intent to commit bodily harm. And anything else we can think of. Out. I got a path here to get to the jail. Now, John. Yes, Roy. You stand here. Open the door when I tell you to. Leave it open. Let's be out of sight. Right. Mr. Ames, wait till I go down the steps, then come out on the porch. Keep your hand close to your gun, but don't draw. Understand? I understand. I know what to do. <laughs> Quiet, and there'll be no bloodshed. You, out in the street. Me? You mean me? There's a law against carrying guns in this town. Now, tell me about it. 
You heard what I said? I'm coming for yours. <laughs> you hear that, boys? He's coming for my gun. <laughs> Never mind. I'll handle this myself. Don't nobody mix in. I'm not going to let him do it. Oh, best of you stay inside. But it's not his job. Him help you. Thank you. 